In this video, I want to share the top eight keyboard shortcuts for navigating inside of Android Studio, which means being able to jump to the declaration of variables or methods, opening up classes or files, and opening or closing tool windows. Similar to what we talked about in the video about shortcuts for editing in Android Studio, the key idea here is to keep your hands on the keyboard. Using your keyboard is always going to be the more efficient way to deal with Android Studio or any software application compared to using your mouse. Let's get into it. The first keyboard shortcut I want to show is Search Everywhere, which is Double Shift. And this is really valuable because you can use it to learn other keyboard shortcuts. For example, I can type string and it'll show me that there's a file which is called strings.xml, but there are also various actions that I could invoke, invoke which match the search term string. Next, I want to talk about tool windows. So tool windows refer to these different components on the bottom or left end of the screen, and I can toggle them open or closed by hitting command plus that number. So for example, structure, I can hit command seven to open and close it. And some of the ones, some of the tool windows don't have a number associated with them, for example, to do. And that's where you can actually use the first shortcut we talked about, which is search everywhere. I can hit double shift and just start typing to do. And now I can open up the to do tool window down here. In order to close the tool window, no matter what it is, for example, if I have the to do window open again, I can hit shift escape and that will minimize all the windows and bring me back to the editor. The next keyboard shortcut is to open a file. The shortcut for this is command shift O. And you can start typing in the file name, for example, employee, and it'll show me all the files that start with employee. But the other thing that you can do, which might make your life easier, is to type in the first character of every word of that file. So for example, if my intention is to open up the employee vacation manager class, then rather than having to type out employee vacation manager, I could instead type EVM. And you can see immediately that that's the first one that pops up. And I can hit enter and I can immediately navigate there. The fifth shortcut is jump to declaration. So the way you can do this, do this with your mouse is by hitting command and then click. And you can do that for both classes and method names. But the keyboard shortcut for this is command B. So I can put my cursor where I want to navigate and hit command B and I'll navigate directly there. The next keyboard shortcut is for recent files. And so I just opened up employee.kt and before that we had navigated to employee vacation manager. So if I wanted to navigate to one of those two files very quickly without using my mouse, I can hit command E and this will show me all my recent files. And I can start typing here and say EVM again and I can again get to employee vacation manager. The next one is a keyboard shortcut for find usages. So I might want to find out where is this variable employee being used. So I can hit option F7 and then it'll show me there are two usages and it'll show me exactly where this is being used. And I can do the same thing actually for any classes as well. So this employee class option F7 and it'll show me everywhere in my project where this is being used. And finally, for navigating between files, this is a really common thing that you're going to do a lot as a developer. So there are a couple ways you could do this. One is you can think of Android Studio similar to your browser. So you can use command shift and the brackets to go between them um, in order as they're shown in the tab at the top. But the way I generally like to navigate between files is by thinking of them as a back stack. So where was your cursor last placed and navigate there. So for example, if I open up employee sick day manager and then I see that this class inherits from employee manager, now I want to go back to main activity. So I could hit command and then left bracket to go back to the employee sick day manager and then hit, hit it one more time to go back to main activity. And so this way it's a really logical way of thinking about how you've descended down a stack trace and then coming back from it. So those are the eight shortcuts I use the most for navigation within Android Studio. I hope it was helpful. If you learned something new, please share this video, like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.